Today, I'm going to show you how you can make a gravity toggle system in Unreal Engine. In the case that you're looking for a complete gravity movement package which allows you to walk on walls, round planets, anything else you can think of really, there are two plugins that could work for you. The Directional Gravity for Physics and Movement plugin, or the Directional and Planet Gravity plugin. You can download them in the Unreal Marketplace. However, if you just want to toggle the gravity of your character so that it can walk on the roof or the floor, this video is the perfect solution for you. Now let's jump into the video. We'll start by creating a new third person project and opening up the default character blueprint. Now we'll set up a system that toggles gravity when you press the F key. Start by creating a new boolean. Call it toggle gravity. This boolean will be responsible for switching between two gravity states. One that allows you to fall to the roof and one that allows you to fall to the floor. Hook the F key pressed execution pin to the branch and hook the gravity toggle to the branch as well. Now let's switch the value of the toggle gravity to whatever it's not after each execution path. If it's true, set false. If false, set true. Now we have the basic setup we need for building our logic. Firstly, it's a good idea to define the values of true and false for the toggle gravity boolean. In our case, we will define them as true equals gravity is toggled upside down and false equals gravity is not toggled upside down. If we take a look at the character movement component, we can see that there's a variable named gravity direction. Believe it or not, it's as simple as changing the value of that vector variable and you're really done. The default value is 0, 0, negative 1 and to get toggled gravity we can just change that to 0, 0, 1. This automatically changes the direction your character is facing relative to gravity so your mesh orients itself correctly in everything. However, one problem is unresolved, and that is, you don't have control over your character's original gravity direction. Here's how we can fix that. Connect the begin play to a sequence node, and connect the then zero execution pin to the branch that the F key pressed execution pin connects to. Then connect the then one execution pin to the cast to player controller node that begin play was originally connected to. By making the toggle gravity boolean public by pressing the I, we can edit the starting value of the boolean for each player instance, and thus change the starting gravity direction. Now let's exit the blueprint and make some changes to our character setup so we can see how all of this works from the viewport screen. We can delete our player start and search for the third person character in the place actors tab. Drag and drop the player into the world and then duplicate the floor and drag it up high so it can act like a roof. Now let's change the value of toggle gravity in our third person character and scroll down to possess our character automatically as shown. Alt P or press the play button to start the level and just to start with we should be flying up to the roof. We can also jump on the roof by default and everything just works out of the box. For best results, I would suggest pulling the character at least slightly off the ground, which will keep that split second delay from when the game starts to when the character falls from happening. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content or got value from it, like and subscribe and let me know any thoughts you'd like to share in the comment section down below. I'll see you in a future video. Cheers.